and we're live. <laughs> Welcome everyone. I had to do today um, on the on well, it's Thursday here, Friday here. Uh, it will go back to probably Saturday next week though. But I've got a uh, appointment tomorrow, so I can't. Oh, we can't live. do tomorrow. Let me turn that off. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Um, yeah, so I'll probably go back to the Saturday morning my time because uh, it seems to be a little bit easier for me to usually make it on the Saturday morning uh, and then it's Friday uh, night in the US, uh, which probably might make a difference too if, um, you know, I mean, a lot more people might be able to get on, which which should be fun. I have so much stuff to talk about. I'm going to play the clip in a minute because I'm still getting organised. Uh, just wanted, this is pre-show, so if you don't want to watch the pre-show, check the... Um, there will be a timeline down below, so I'll have that for you down below. Uh, and um, then uh, you can just skip to whichever story you like. Obviously, if you're here for the live show, well, then you can't do that. Um, you sort of just have to sit with what we're watching. So let's uh, start with the uh, clip and then we'll get stuck into the show. Now, this is Kiara. I've just posted this yesterday. Now, just to let you know, this was shot with the A9. And also the A92. The A9 is all the video, and the A92 is the stills that you'll see uh, at the end. Uh, so enjoy watching this. I, I'm, I, the A9 is absolutely beautiful for doing video. I love it. I uh, love it to death. So check it out. wrong the words I spoke I've been saying many things that are hurtful your tears shed eyes your fragile mind cause I'll be dancing on my own tonight I know December is hard with. I know I cost you lots of pain But I did not mean to let you down this way But I know deep inside I let your smile fade away Let your smile fade away mm -hmm. I remember when We used to lay On the grass and watch the sun go away But now you're gone I let you pass by It's hard to cope with I know I cost you lots of pain But I did not mean to let you down this way But I know deep inside I let your smile fade away
words I spoke I've been saying many things that are hurtful Well, <laughs> I'm so happy with how that turned out. Uh, I, I, the funny thing was, when I shot that, I shot that earlier this year. Um, welcome everyone too, by the way. Um, and I forgot I had all the footage there and I thought, oh, I looked at a folder and I thought, wow, I, be I better post that. So um, yeah, that was all shot with the Sony A9. Uh, the video was always the A9. Uh, my, the A9 is my favorite at this stage uh, to shoot video. Um, and then I used the A9 II to take the stills. Uh, and I'm really happy with how that uh, looked. They're both amazing cameras. But, you know, I do think the A9 is totally uh, underrated in video, that people just don't realise how good uh, that the A9 actually is. It's just marvellous. Um, so let me have a quick drink. So I'm going to go through the chat and see who's here. Mmm. Ah, nice Milo. So let's see um, what people are saying. Like I said, remember, you don't have to watch this. You can skip to the timeline down below. Uh, Shadows of Smoke said, David, I'm literally waiting now. Ooh, what are you waiting for? Um, for my deliverance of the A7S III. FedEx is slow today. Oh, no, that's so awful if you're just waiting for it. Well, I've got something coming on Monday or Tuesday. I wonder what that might be. <clears throat> Hopefully Kerry's not there. <laughs> yeah, Mark said headset warning. Yeah, I'm going to take it off. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think... Oh, it's a bit bright too, actually. It's a bit loud, I think. Testing one, two. Yep. Yep, so, uh, yeah, I've got something coming on Monday or Tuesday next week. Um, I'm not quite sure what it might be, but... Hmm. Oh, well, I'll uh, talk to you about that when it comes. Um... Mod Photo says, yeah, back to Fridays. Yeah, just probably for this week, and then I'll go back to the Friday night US and Europe next week. So it'll be Saturday morning here. Uh, Jamie's here saying morning all. Um, Rob is also saying uh, hi, folks. The real kudo. Ultimate question, David. Do you think APS-C is dead because of the A7C? Well, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like there's anything on the pipeline for Sony to release on the a 6000 or APS-C line. Uh, I'm not sure now with the A7C being released. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there may be one more, but yeah, I'm not convinced now. So APS-C may be dead. I hope not because uh, some people do like APS-C for the reach. Um, I mean, I suppose if you've got a decent sensor, like if they brought out an A7C 2 that had a 30 megapixel sensor or even higher, then you could use APS-C on that and get a usable file size. So that, that would be interesting to sort of see what may happen, but there's certainly nothing on the APS-C timeline that, uh, that I know about at this stage. T-Light saying hello, Mr. O. Barry saying good morning. Carl is saying hello, everybody. Chris is saying hello, David. Warm day in Los Angeles, but good day for a Bud Lime. Well, I'll be starting to have a drink with you guys soon too. It's cold today, though, in Melbourne. Um, we're having a sort of bit of late winter. The weather's been beautiful, but this weekend is going to be quite cool. Uh, how is the smoke in LA? Yeah, hopefully the smoke is settling down over there now, uh, you guys. Michael, g'day, Michael. Hey, David, I got my cameras today. Uh, the same uh, the same as some of the cards are having an issue, but some work. Oh, is that the, the um, A cards? Just stay there just for a second. I hope they don't have issues because I've got uh, two of these. I wonder what I'd be buying these for. Um, I'm not quite sure why I'd be buying these because these won't fit in what I've got, which is a bit weird, but oh well. So, Michael, there's is issues. Well, <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. That's all I need to know. Um, what else? Uh 
So hopefully it's not the cards that I've got that are having a, an issue. Um, Leslie said, hi, d hello, David. Uh, does it feel to be free, uh, free, free? I'm just going stir crazy, starting to talk to myself. Why is that, Leslie? Um, what else have we got? Oh, Michael, V90, V60 and V90 plus the C fast A cards are having issues. Oh, don't tell me that. But only some of them again. What was the issues, Michael? Prasad said, hi, David, I resisted but still pre-ordered the A7C. Now I'm excited. Well, that's great. I mean, like I said, that camera is not for me, but I'm going to even show some pictures today. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just not something that I would be interested in having myself. But if it fits your needs, uh, it's going to be a great little camera. Uh, Aaron's here as well. G'day, Aaron. Mark's here as well. Uh, just a quick hi because he's got a busy day, obviously. Langston's here as well. Uh, Mark said headset warning. Um, Rob said A9 might be your favourite today, but once you get your A7S3, <laughs> all bets are off. Hmm. Wonder what will happen on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Steve said, greetings all. Uh, EJ Photography said, um, hey, my good friend, it's been a while since I've been here live. Great to see you here, mate. Good to see you, Joe. Um, Nike said, hi, everyone. Uh, Michael said, FedEx is horrible these days. Brett said, g'day, Brett. Uh, g'day, all. Rob said, uh, did you get those things sorted out with your problem child? <laughs> That was a thing we had a discussion on the photography videography school. Until Sony has a full a one thousand dollar full frame, their APS-C line will be just fine. Yeah, like I said, I hope it does survive. Uh, but even if it, even as the cameras are at the moment, they're still very very good. Um, Chris said, uh, it's not my, oh, I'm not sure what that means. Um, Axum said, uh, hello from Maryland, no A7C for me. It was not my cup of tea, got my A, uh, got my 6100 a week ago and loving it. Uh, Michael said, when will the A7 uh, be released? I'm going to talk about that in just one of the stories today, Michael, so stay uh, tuned. Ready to pull the trigger on the A92, but would really like to see the uh, Mark IV first. You're going to be waiting a while by the sounds of it, though. Aaron said, so, David, shall I wait for the A74 or get the A73? Looking to depart from my Fuji now that I do more low light than anything else. Um if you can wait, it looks like it's not going to be released for a while, Aaron, the A7 IV. I will talk about that in one of the stories today. But if you need something now, you could get the A7 III. Um, if you don't want the dual card slots, then obviously you could get the A7C. Um, if you don't want the dual card slots, because the autofocus is slightly better, the low light will be probably exactly the same. If you need the dual card slots, uh, et cetera, uh, I would get the a7 III. And in fact, the a7 III is quite a bit cheaper here in Australia, so I'd probably just get the a7 III. Uh, if you can wait, I would wait, but you're going to be waiting probably quite a while. Um, Rob said, I know he's talking about something else there. Chris said, David's going to be buying flowers soon. Yeah, I better, actually, I better look online in a minute and see if I can buy some flowers <laughs> for Monday or Tuesday next week. Langston said, good to hear. Um, Haas said, does the A610 have the same colour science? I may get that. Uh, I've never had the A610, so I can't talk about the colour science on that camera. Um, it, it probably wouldn't be as good as what they say the A6400 and the A6600 has, though. I think they've sort of, um, you know, they're, um, they've improved it as it goes on. Oh, why do you say that, Brett? David ordered the A7S3. <laughs> got something coming that's so excited i probably won't sleep all weekend um looking good with a new snow beer my man thank you so much michael it's if you're seeing this as white i keep telling people calibrate your monitor because this is blonde <laughs> i love it um Prasant said, someone is getting ready for Christmas. I know, I might have to wear the Santa hat. I'm so excited. You know what I'm like? I'm like a big kid in a candy shop, and I've got those cards. Don't tell me there's problems with those cards, Michael. Oh. Leslie said, still in lockdown. Yeah, well, I'm out of lockdown now, so we're lucky uh, that we're now out of it. So that's been fantastic. Dana's here as well. Good day, Dana. Henry said, hi, everyone. It's been a while, but glad to be here and see David pull the A7S3 trigger. Um, Nissa said, the new Canon C70 seems more or less in line now wise. Uh, more or less in line now wise. I believe the Sony A7S3 Mark III uh, should have been minus the 8K missing from both. 
waiting for your review. Um, yeah, that I'm going to talk about the C70. It looks like a really good camera, actually. Uh, Colin said, is the A7S III release in Oz next week? Hmm. Well, I've just got shipping notice that something is coming uh, on Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> Kerry, I've got to make sure. I need to talk ASMR. Don't tell Kerry. <laughs> Uh, oh, I better water some deer roses, I think. <clears throat> you get a month before you see the uh, credit card bill anyway. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, what else have we got? Colin, so, uh, well, yes, they're, so, they, they're, well, I believe that, Colin, that they said the A7S was going to be released in the first week of October. But like I said, I've got something coming Monday or Tuesday. Michael said, the issue is they're not reading the cards in some cases, and with other cards, they won't let you record uh, 124K intra. But I heard something about Sony recalling the CFast A. We'll see. Well, I certainly haven't had anything about recalling those cards, Michael. How are your cards? Have you got the same ones I've got? I've got two of the... Um So hopefully they'll be okay, but they certainly haven't re- Harris <laughs> carries into the chat. Shh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, so, oh, don't tell me that, Michael. I'll be spewing because I've probably got no other cards I can put in there. I haven't got any V60, V90 or V30 cards or whatever they are um, at all. So it would mean I couldn't use it if there's going to be an issue. Um, so let me know how, so you, did you get the same cards, Michael? Let me know in the chat because I'm just curious. Venom said, I have a pretty good grasp on how Sony operates now. I bet the A7 IV doesn't come for more than two years. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, Brett's laughing. Ha said, uh, A16, laugh out loud, David. Uh, Axman said, what happened to watching the money? <laughs> Uh, more carefully. I love it. Uh, for the rest of the year, David, you're your own worst enemy. No, X-Man. You don't... Well, look, let me just explain. I've sold a A7 III and I've sold a couple of lenses, so it's cost neutral. Um, so it hasn't cost me a thing, which was great. Uh, so I did do it so that if, if I had to pay for this with money that was there, I wouldn't have purchased it. I mean, I'd love to have, but I couldn't have afforded it. Um, but I just sold uh, one of the A7III, so I had two A7III's. Kerry uses one, I use one. Uh, so I've sold an A7III and I've sold a couple of lenses that I don't use and a couple of other things. Um, so it hasn't cost me anything. Uh, so it's cost neutral, which is good. Um, Woot Woot, it's still the pre-show. Yes, it certainly is. Um, Michael said, so Axeman, I have been careful. Yeah, I didn't I didn't just buy it as an extra. I sold stuff to buy it. Um Brad said, woo woo, to still boo show. Brett said, I can read your face. Now, what did Michael say there? The CFast will let you record 4K60. Well, I'm just happy with that. I mean, that'll let me do if I have to send the stuff back. Uh, they do read it, so you'll be fine. It's just the 120 frames per second 4K. So is it all cards or just a few, Michael? Um, Kerry has entered the chat. I love Aaron saying that. Uh, I called Best Buy, and they said they don't have any stock. So uh, they cancelled everyone's pre-order. Oh, no, that's awful. Now, I did notice in Australia that the A7S III now is, uh, if you go to Sony and purchase directly, they're now saying mid-November. Um, so it really is now starting to be put on back order. So I think if you've missed the pre-orders, um, you're going to be a while before you can um, purchase one. Um, what's Aaron saying? Aaron's messaged me. <laughs> um, so yeah it's a problem now if you want it quickly in Melbourne so I would, I'd say if you did want one you better pre-order fairly quickly because I know now they're saying mid-November so if you haven't got it on pre-order and, and now it might even be starting to get a little bit longer it'll be December before you even know it so uh, yeah um, that's terrible though Void I'm, I'm so sorry that, that Best Buy did that to you that's awful um, uh, Sony A7S 3 Carl stop cackling uh brad said us are overseas uh, michael said i bought the uh, i bought three a7s3s with the eight 
See, with eight CFAST cards, I'm broke again. Um, are they all having problems, Michael, or just a couple of them? Brad said, void uh, oath, give... Film Tombs a call if you're not reliant on BB financing. They're smaller pro dealer. Oh, you're talking to someone else there. My A7S pre-order has been delayed via Best Buy. Oh, that's so bad. I'm so sorry, Noel. Um, can't justify A7S repurchase right now uh, for my work and finances. Well, I couldn't either if I couldn't sell stuff. I'm just lucky that I had stuff, stuff to sell. Uh, it looks like... Oh. <laughs> Michael said it looks like all CFAST A cards. Well, why haven't I been contacted about that? I mean, I've had them for, uh, you know, about a week, two weeks. So it's a bit of a bummer. Um, anyway, there we go. All right, guys. So let me start the show. Oh, so Creative Films got the A7S3 today. Congratulations, mate. You're so lucky. It's going to kill me all weekend just waiting. Um, let's start the show. Let me put in here show start. What time are we on? 21. 21. 20. Oh, yeah. All right, let me go here and start. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, we've just had a bit of a um, pre-show, uh, which has been fun. Uh, I talked about something that's been delivered on uh, Monday or Tuesday. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> so excited. Um, so I'm waiting on that to, to come, uh, which I'll let you know. So I'll talk about that all once it comes. But now I've been told there's problems with the um, CFAST A Express cards. Oh, God which I'm going to probably have to send them back or something. Uh, and I haven't got anything else to put in them, which is a bummer. Um, so uh, hopefully, actually, I'm in so Sony Pro Support, so they might send me some cards while I'm waiting. That possibly could happen. Uh, Michael's saying that the uh, the problems with the uh, A7S III and the, the CFAST A cards is you can't record 4K 120. Um, so there's been some issues with the cards, so Sony might have to recall them. Um, now, if that's the case, if they do recall them, well, then hopefully there's some fixes coming up. I'll probably keep them in the, the meantime, and then uh, I'd probably contact Sony Pro Support. They'd send me new cards, and then I'd just send them back the old cards. I think that's probably how it would work. Uh, that's the way. That's an advantage of being in Sony Pro Support. So, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, it's an interesting scenario. It's a bit of a bummer. It did it did interest me though how they all came out before the camera was released and stuff. But I would have thought they would have been tested fully um, beforehand. Hopefully, I've got two because mine are Australian. <laughs> Hopefully, my two cards won't have a problem because <laughs> that's the Aussie way. You know how it is. Um, so we've got stacks of interesting stuff to show uh, to share with you, David. Uh, David, <laughs> today I'm just reading this down here. T Light has just said, uh, David, you can grab 64 gigabyte Pro Grade V60 for about sixty dollars Australia for Amazon for some testing. Yeah, I may have to look at doing something like that. Uh, T Light. Uh, Brett also said, getting harder to sell secondhand cameras at the moment because of no, uh, no one's got any money to spend. Yeah, I was lucky. I went. Mine got sold straight away, Brett. So I was very, very lucky. But it was a friend that bought them um, so I didn't have to advertise or whatever uh, so I could just sell them uh, like I said I've got two a7 threes I sold one a7 III and I sold a couple of lenses and some other things too that uh, I had that so uh, what I've bought and that's coming on Monday or Tuesday has been paid for uh, which is great Michael also said uh, just let me pull this up to um, Tons of people are looking for their cameras. Sony isn't going to be able to deliver all of the cameras that expects that for sure. Cards are short and cameras. I've talked to a few camera stores. Yep. Well, like I said, now here, Sony Australia now is saying mid-November. So they're getting harder and harder to get. All right. So let's go on with the first story because I've got some great, interesting stories to show you today. The first one's going to be about the A7S III shipping anyway. Um, so what are we on? 25. 10. Um, 
So let's go on to the first story. So it looks like, let me move this down, that all the pre, well, some pre-orders are starting to ship um, at the moment uh, in the USA. I know they've shipped for a few couple of weeks, I think, or a week or so in Europe. So a lot of Europeans have already got them. Um, but it also depends on how the orders have been done. So I suppose if you purchase from B&H, you may, and I, sometimes I just wonder it might be better to order from smaller camera shops because they do tend to get the deliveries in uh, a, a little bit quicker sometimes than if you're in a larger store like uh, B&H Photo and other things like that. So sometimes it can be an advantage with going for a smaller shop. Uh, but I noticed B&H now are shipping now. Some have already got their B&H shipping orders. Um, so they're all starting to come out. Like I said, I've got something coming Monday and Tuesday. Shh, just don't tell Gary. Um, I've got something coming Monday and Tuesday. Um, but uh, if you are ordering the A7S III now in Australia, you're looking at mid-November. So there's still around about five weeks waiting before you would get one. And I would say that's probably the same if you've missed out on the uh, initial pre-order in the uh, uh, Australian shops as well. Adorama have also, uh, Creative Film said he got his from Adorama. So Adorama are also shipping theirs now as well at the moment. So it looks like they are now starting to filter out. But like everything else, they, they probably only have so many uh, cameras they can deliver all around the world and if you miss that first shipment uh, you then might have to wait for another lot to be delivered in a week or so or two weeks how long that will be who knows uh, but it can be a little bit frustrating see Timo's just got down there saying that um, I got my email saying the A7S3 is back ordered as well <laughs> Aaron said Kerry has left the chat oh I love it she's gone Sh Kerry's gone shopping <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, so the, the other thing too, I found this out there as well, which is really quite interesting. Uh, if you wanted to watch a really interesting video about the uh, Sony a7S III, um, there's this video down here, which is a video comparing the Sony a7S III, the Alexa Mini uh, LF and the Venus 6K. And you know what? It is incredible how good uh, the Sony a7S III is compared to these high-end cameras. It really is. And in fact, if you read the comments, a lot of people are saying uh, that the uh, Sony a7S III is even better. But I'd love you to watch that and let me know your opinion down below anyway, because I'm not going to give you my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you think about it. And I just thought it was an interesting thing to share because um, it really is uh, an amazing camera for its size, if you compare it to what these sort of main big high-end cameras are and the image output that you're getting outside out, out of this little small camera. Um, now, before we go into the next story, let me just check what people are saying in this chat, because the next story is going to be talking about the A7 IV and stuff. So let me clear up the A7S III um, first. Yeah, Brett said it's getting harder to sell those uh, the secondhand cameras at the moment. Yeah, no one particularly has money. I, I agree. Uh, I was lucky I sold them to friends. Um, I must have a look at the ProGrade V60. I'd like to have a look at some extra cards anyway uh, because I've just got SanDisk and the Sony cards. Uh, they're not the V1s, though. They're the uh, previous Sony cards that were out. Um, so they probably won't give me any of the high-end uh, video formats. I'm, I need to get something like a V60 or a V90. Um, hopefully, this is going to kill me if I get that, whatever it is, on Monday. <laughs> And then those cameras fail. But Michael's saying they will work 4K60, so that's okay. I'd be quite happy doing that. Um, Juicy's also saying hi. Um, Michael's also saying that people won't be able, that, that Sony just won't be able to deliver the number of cameras, and that's for sure. They never can if, if things have been ordered very heavily. Brad said, uh, ah, the R5 is the photo camera first, so its design is correct. The C70 worries me as it started to be the replacement for the C100. That means a full frame uh, will be expensive. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that as the uh, second last story today. It looks like a great camera, that C70, though. Um... Brett said, luckily, yeah, it was lucky that I had a friend that wanted them, Brett. Uh, everyone's looking for the A7, uh, A7 III uh, S. Yes, I know, the S3. Uh, Michael said, this camera is in very high demand from what I'm seeing. Got mine from Adorama, Creative Film, so he's got his. Timo said, I got an email saying my A7 S3 is back ordered. Oh, that's awful. Um, 
Brad said, David, that's why I mentioned film to- tools to the other person. Talking with my dealer rep, it's more that the smaller stores have smaller wait list versus the big boys, B&H and Adorama. Yep. And that can be, that's often why I buy, I usually buy from Michael's camera store in Melbourne. Uh, and they've always had the camera for me on day one. Uh, and they're, uh, you know, and I mean, they're not a small camera. They're a fairly big one in Melbourne. But, you know, I haven't sort of dealt with the online um uh, companies, so uh, that's that's how that's worked. But this time, I, I've ordered it direct from Sony, so and it's co- it's going to be coming on day one. Uh, T Light, we back ordered from July uh, from Wex UK, and we haven't heard anything yet. Oh, I feel so sad for you guys just waiting. I mean, I, the funny thing is, even though I sort of when I ordered, it did say it was coming first week in October. Um, and the funny thing was I'm still checking every day. Like I've been checking every day for the last week to see if I, if somehow it was going to be released early. But you know what I'm like. Uh, you know, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Um, Shadow said, I got my A7S III from Bedford Camera and Video. Thanks for sharing that. Um, the, is the version of the A7S A7S still a good purchase now. Sometimes we see them uh, for one thousand United States dollars. Yes, of course, it's an amazing camera, but you've just got to be using manual focus. That that's the thing that you've got to think about with those older cameras. Um, you know, it's it's still a good camera though. I mean, if you if you would like one in your bag and that's all you can afford, it's still a great camera. Um, our local store here. Got, oh, your, your local store did get a good sh- uh, size shipment, uh, which is great. Did you get one, Joe, or you're not bothering? Uh, Rob said, David uh, don't, doesn't know wh- uh, what is coming Monday or Tuesday. He saw some random charge on his credit card that he didn't order and is waiting. Yeah, that's right. That is exactly right. I'm just waiting to see what it is. Um, Timo said... Uh, Literally live right now. Oh, someone else is on there. Venom said, Peter Lindrum did a professional shoot with the A7S III and it was amazing. Best one I've seen. Yeah, I did look. Peter's incredible. I love Peter. I will have him on live again soon. We, we, I was chatting with Peter the oh, about two weeks ago and he did say he wanted to pop on live with me and have a chat. So I must organize that with Peter. Michael said, and he didn't even use the Ninja 5 for that video. I've got the Ninja 5 too, so I'm very lucky. I've already got that. Uh, In fact, I've already ordered um, some extra hard drives to add to that. Um, V90 or bust. Colin said, two CF Type A cards cost nearly the same as the A7S III. Um, Yeah, they're not cheap. Um, FedEx is here. My ah yes, Shadows of Smoke's gone because his uh, his A7S3 is here already. Carl said my A7S3 shipment was redirected to Australia. <laughs> I love it. Aaron saying hi guys. Good day, Aaron. How are you? Sid said I'm liking the beard. Uh, Santa Claus should I say the bearded angry photographer? I love it. All right, so let's go on to the next story uh, because I'm going to talk about the A74 and the A9X. Uh, so 33, and we 40. All right, so let's go back to here, uh, and I'm going to talk about this, because it's interesting. You know, I've been sort of thinking all along that Sony would be announcing, well, before we go that, let me just come up to me. Um, I've, I've been sort of thinking all along that Sony would be um announcing the a7 IV reasonably soon. Now, now the reason why I was saying that was because I still don't think Sony have a competitor to the, um, the EOS R6. I think that sort of is on its own if you're talking about a fusion type camera and Sony don't have anything. I'm laughing at Aaron saying he's loving his a7C. Um, so Sony don't have anything to do that direct comparison at the moment. So I would have thought that Sony would have had an A7 IV released sooner than later. Now, perhaps with the A7C being released, they don't want to do that. And perhaps it makes sense that now that that's been released, they don't want to release another camera that might take sales away from the A7C. So it looks like we're going to have to wait a, a little bit longer than what I thought for uh, the A7 IV. And in fact, I think they're talking about an A9X coming out first. So let me just show you this because it's an interesting... Um, Interesting rumour. Let me just have a drink. So what they're saying is that 
Um, the rumour is going that uh, Canon, that Sony are going for an EOS R5 kill. There's going to be a new Sony A9X camera with a 50 megapixel and 8K 30p video is coming in quarter one, 2021. Um, so this is really interesting. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the naming convention here. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I just don't know. I always thought the A9 was going to be the sports type series of cameras. Um you know, that was sort of there with the fast shooting, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not certain that it needs something like a fixed 50 megapixel sensor. I'm not saying the camera's not coming, but I'm just not sure about the naming convention. Uh, they're saying uh, it, it's going to be an A9X, or, or I think there was another bit down there where it's an A9S. That probably makes more sense, I suppose. You could say that it was uh, the um, video version of the A9. It's going to be their sort of ultimate high-end camera. So that, that might be why they're putting it up near the A9 sort of realm. Remember, the A9 has always been the their showpiece camera. So to have an A9S or whatever they're going to call it may make sense in the fact that this is going to be their ultimate video camera. Um, it's going to be priced way above what the A7S will be, um, but it's going to have some other features, which will be more high-end than what I need. Um, but, you know, the A7S 3 meets everything that I'd ever want probably from a camera at this stage. But but let me take you through it just to sort of show you what they're saying. They're saying that uh, it's going to have 50 megapixel and it's going to have 8K 30p video and it's coming in quarter one 2021. So they're saying that this camera is coming out before the A7 IV. And like I said, it probably makes sense now that they've brought out the A7C that uh, they don't try and take sales away from that. So in a way, what Sony have done with marketing probably makes sense, uh, unfortunately, if you're waiting for an A7 IV. But let me sort of see what else they're saying here. Uh, he's, at first, he's saying that he thought it was BS be, uh, because I didn't trust the source. But then later on, he's saying that they did confirm some other rumors, and so now he thinks it may be true. Um, and they're saying that Sony will launch a new high-end camera, quarter one, 2021. It will be named the A9X series camera uh, and not the A7X. Not sure if it's an A9S or an A9 III. I would still think if it's an A9 III, it wouldn't fit that narrative because I think an A9 III is going to follow the same type of format that the A9 II has. That's going to be the sports photographer. Sports photographers do not need to be pushing 50 megapixel files in their camera. So I don't think that it's going to be an A9 III. It has to be called something else. I do fully expect an A9 III because I, I, I showed you an A9 II um, video at the start of this and, and I really don't think the A9 II was a massive improvement over the A9 uh, I, which I've got. Uh, it, the A9 was so good, unfortunately for Sony. The A9 is just so good that the A9 II, unless you are more into networking and stuff, which, you know, if you're a sports photographer, yes, and that's all you do if you're into networking and things, the A9 II was, was a, a better camera. But uh, if you're dealing with it, it was sort of more of an incremental updates, update. So I do sort of predict that they will bring out an A9 III that will be a big improvement over what that has, and it probably will have the flip-out screen and things like that. Um, but uh, so I don't think it'll be an A9 III. So it could be an A9S, which will go more for that sort of video side of things, and it will be their ultimate sort of high-end um you know, a mirrorless type body uh, for, for Sony. That will be the uh, ultra high-end one. And the A7S III will be just below that. Um, it's saying it's going to have a 50 megapixel sensor, 8K30 video confirmed with no overheating. Uh, so whether it's in the same size body or whether it's going to be a bigger body, uh, we'll have to wait and see. And it says it's still an infant 8K mode, meaning it's not 8K60, which would be crazy. Um, and there are limitations in the quality you rec can record internally. Um, I'm not quite sure what they're talking about there, but it looks like 8K30, but I don't understand really what that means. But um, the other specs, it's going to have the same EVF as the A7S III um, and at least 1,500 more expensive than the EOS R5. So it's not going to be cheap, but the price hasn't yet been finalised. Expect something between 5,000 and 5,500 United States dollars. Uh, and they're saying down here, just to sort of finish this off before I, I go over to some other things about this, apparently Sony wants to show they can outperform 
uh, the AEOS R5, and they do not consider it a threat to A7S III sales. And I don't think it probably would be either, because um, the A7S III meets most people, well, it certainly meets people like me. Um, I don't need 8K, and I've discussed that. If it's in the camera, well, yes, I'd take it but I certainly would not be willing to pay that much at this stage. So this is gonna be way up, um, you know, for real full-on videographers that would like to shoot with 8K, et cetera. And it may have some other features in it, uh, like the C, um, C50 or whatever, C70 that I'll talk about shortly. Um, so it's not for me, but, but when I say that, who knows? But I mean, I would, be more than happy with just having the 4K60 and the 4K120 that the A7S III has. Um, but let me just show you this as well, that the other rumors are that the, uh, the 8K camera is gonna be announced in early 2021, but the Sony A7 IV now, they're saying in summer 2021. So you're probably looking about sometime next, what, June, probably July for it to be announced. So we're still months and months and months away from the A7 IV released. And after thinking about it, I still did think that they had to compete with the R6. But like I said, now with the EOS, uh, sorry, now with the A7C just being announced, I don't think they'd like to take sales away from that. Uh, even though I don't think it probably would because they'd be in a different marketplace. Um, so I'm not counting out the A7 IV being released earlier, but they're saying now summer, so it looks like that may be the case. Um, let me just quickly go through the specs again, just because I've got that down here. Um, it's saying quarter one, uh, it's gonna be bigger and truly pro body, and, and this makes sense. If they're gonna put 8K in an A9 series body, uh, this has to be a bigger body, and it's probably gonna be something like the, the uh, Canon ES R5, or even it may go up to something like what I'll show you with the, the new Canon released. Newly developed sensor, 8K video recording with no overheating, and it makes sense if you've got uh, a larger body that that you know probably wouldn't be a, uh, an issue. Dual card slots, it'll be the CFA, CF Express uh, A slots. Uh, new menu system from the A7S III, I think that now will be becoming the standard, uh, and I think that would be in the, it says that in the A7 IV as well. IBIS with steady shot and active mode as well. Everything about this camera is new, and they're saying $6,000 there. Um, would be US. Now the A7 IV, they're saying in this that the A7 IV will be released, be released sometime in 2021, and like I said, they did say summer. Um, but that could be announced in summer, and then you might have to wait like we wait for the A7S III and wait, you know, eight weeks or four weeks, whatever it is. Um, but they're saying in that slightly bigger and more comfortable body than the A7 III, it's probably gonna have the same body as the A7S III. That, that's what it will have. I mean, it's definitely gonna have that or like the A7R4. 3.6 uh, million dot EVF, 1.44 million dot LCD, newly developed 30 megapixel sensor, so that would be nice and handy to have a bump in the resolution. 4K 60 with no overheating. It has to have 4K 60 in that camera because this is gonna be the camera that competes with the R6. So it has to have 4K 60. In fact, I think all those sort of cameras from now on will have that at least. Uh, dual type A SD, SD card slots, new menu system of the A7S III. Five axis in body stabilization with a steady shot, and the price is two five. So that's what they're predicting for that uh, camera to, to come out. So let me open up to the chat just to see what you guys are thinking about all of this. Um. Where were we? Down here. Michael said, I'm sure there are some cards that will work. We're talking about the CF Express A cards. Uh, so did all of yours fail, Michael? Uh, did, did every single one of your eight cards fail? I like some V90 cards might work correctly, but the CFast A card seemed to be an issue. Also, the Ninja 5 might let you record fine without any issues. Yes, yeah, so I probably could record with that. Uh, if I wanted to record 4K 120. Like I said, Michael, I'm happy most of the time just to record 4K 60. Uh, I very rarely would do 4K 120, but I'd like it there. Um, so, I mean, if, if there's a problem, obviously the cards would have to go back. 
Uh, Brett said 50 megapixel on an A9. I'm not sure about that. Yep. I, I, like I said, I don't think it's going to be uh, an A9 III replacement, Brett. I think this would be the video version of the A9. Um, Aaron just said, yeah, that makes sense. Leslie said, I've heard rumors that Sony is bringing in an 80 megapixel camera. I also heard that as well. Uh, a new sensor in the new A7R 4 and the... Um, a7 IV uh, is only going to have 4K30. Now, there's no way the A7 IV will have 4K30. No way. Prasant said, if that's true, it will cost five grand. Uh, Brad said, yes, I'm worried about the A7 IV release timing. With, with the postponed Olympics in Tokyo being next summer now, I'll bet the A9 uh, would be possibly uh, before the A7 IV. And that could happen. They may release a new A9 uh, III before the Olympics. That definitely could happen. G'day, Jim. How are you? Uh, he was out on a video shoot. Uh, the A9X will exceed all expectations. Uh, Brett said, no need for an A9 or A9X. The A92 are uh, only very new. Um, Aaron said, he's not interested at all with this new A9. Michael said, what has Sony done? We all will uh, never want to see slow motion video again after everyone get these cameras. We're all about to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know, I think you're going to see 20 million uh, 4K 120 videos and they're going to be coming out. <laughs> I agree. And they certainly will. Um, let me know, too, if, if every single one of your cards has failed, Michael. I'm still waiting on you to answer that. Rob said, maybe sports photographers don't need 50 megapixel, but increased sensor size will allow for closer cropping. Uh, the A9 series speed uh, with the 50 megapixel sensor would be great for wildlife photographers. Well, that's true, but, but see, I would expect that more in the A7R5. That's, that's what I would more expect, Rob, not in an A9 series of cameras, but who knows? Um... Photomiak said, I was talking about this earlier. Why is Sar so obsessed with Canon? Um, I know I'll definitely get it when the A9X comes out. Who are we kidding? <laughs> uh, um, let me just scroll down, see what people are saying. Whoa, love the beard, David. Oh, thank you so much, Manuel. Uh, Mark said, will the A9X be the first global shutter? Maybe, Mark. Imagine more with Sony getting ready for the Olympics. You know, I was always desperate for a global shutter, but now from what I've seen with the uh, Sony A7S III, it's almost not needed. I suppose it'll help with flash um, because you don't get sync speed problems, but um, the, the issue is now the, the rolling shutter on the Sony a7S III is almost non-existent. I, I really don't count it as being a problem anymore. Uh, the readout is that fast now that who knows. But, I mean, I'm sure a global shutter is probably going to be coming somewhere along the thoughts as well. Um, LT uh, said, hey, David, what are your thoughts about the Sony FS6? Well, from what I've seen, it looks amazing. And do you think it's best to hold off on the A7S III and see what the FS6 holds? It just depends really on, <clears throat> look, if you're a full videographer, I could certainly understand you wanting to get an FS6. If you think that the A7S III has what you need, I probably would go for the A7S III due to the fact of the fold, you know, the, the size is smaller, it's going to be much easier to lug around, handheld, uh, things like that. But if you need things that, you know, like the ports, you know, plug your XLR cables directly in, attach your hard drives, all those sort of things, well, the FS6 might be a better bet. But uh, it just depends on how much videography that you do. Uh, but if the A7S III um, fits your needs, like... like um, uh, Michael, I mean, he's bought three A7S threes and he had an FX9 and I think he had uh, another larger camera as well. And I've, he's probably sold those. I'm not sure if he did, but he's now moving to the A7S three. So if the A7S three fits your needs, it might be just as just better to get that. <clears throat> the C70 is massive. I'll show the size. It is. It's a big camera. Um, I wonder if the FX6 will be similar to the uh, C70. Probably. Um, Michael said, at the part with my daughter watching, so I'm doing a lot. Oh, let me know, Michael, too, whether all of those cards were failing. Um, Brett said, <coughs> excuse me, Brett said, in order to bring out the A7 IV, it will mean an all-new body, a major upgrade, and not a step up on the A9 or the A7R4. Um, 
I thought if Sony was releasing an A9 Mark III, it would be another 24 megapixels or 36 megapixels sensor. I think it will be. If, if you're talking about the sports version of this camera, uh, it, it won't be that 50 megapixel uh, sensor for, for sports shooters. It, it, it's not going to happen. They, they don't have that sort of resolution. Um, 24 or 36 is ample. Uh, and remember, they do need the 20 frames per second. Um, but if you get a sensor that's fast enough, you could probably do 50 megapixel uh, at 20 frames per second. Um, Brad said, uh, I'm guessing you mean first global sensor photo camera. Yeah, that's what he meant. Um, let me just check down here. All of my, uh, Michael, Michael said, all of my CFast A uh, cards has issues. Oh, boy that I've tried but I've only tried four of them again they do work 4k 60 so what have Sony said to you Michael have they said send them back Brad said uh, also global shutter will be a boon for advertising photos and video think of the spinning wheel rims plane helicopter props etc yeah that certainly would help in that regard uh, Brad <clears throat> Brad all right so let me keep going on down here to the next story. I'm going to show some pics of the A7C. Uh, what are we on? 51. Uh, looking at these pics, the <clears throat> I saw this shared on Sony Alpha Rumors uh, this morning. I thought, wow, or the other day, I must discuss it because it is a beautiful camera i mean i have to admit that the a7c is a gorgeous looking camera i really do like the look of it um you know and it's got a whole stack of images with different lenses on uh, you know i mean i love it like that with the sony 16 mil 2.8 uh, it, it is a beautiful sort of camera like you know range findery type uh, camera and I just thought I'll share these all down below so you can have a look at them if you'd like to have a look Jim just said thumbs up yes please if you can guys I'd love a thumbs up it does make a big difference to the channel um, so it, it really is a beautiful camera it's just not for me I mean you know I've been so we've been joking with, with myself and Aaron uh, about this camera over the, the last few days uh, but I have to say look if this camera sort of fits your needs there's nothing wrong with it at all if it fits your needs it's just not for me there's too many compromises for what i would um want with this camera that being the one four thousandth of a shutter speed yes you can use nds but it's a problem nds can add a cast they can also take a fraction of sharpness away um so you can use NDs for that, but, and also the the shutter speed for the sync shutter speed for the flash is only one one hundred and sixtieth. So that's also an issue as well, and the one card slot. But if you are a um, if you are in sort of the marketplace for a, a full frame camera that I think does look beautiful and you're not worried about all those extra features. I mean, look, it has the fold-out screen. Uh, it has uh, it has better tracking than what the, the um, A7 III has. It's, it's, it's a good camera. It's just not what I would like. But, but you know, it's um, <clears throat> really quite... I do think it's quite beautiful. As a camera goes, I do think it's actually quite lovely. Uh, I really do like this design, particularly the two-tone one. I, I'm not a... I mean, the, the single-colour one looks nice too. Um, but I think the two-tone one looks really classy and I really like it. Ike's talking about it, <laughs> saying, saying beautiful is a bit of a stretch. But I, I do actually think it, it is. I think it's beautiful. I love the look of it. Um, but, you know, there you go. So there's compromises, but a lot of people are buying them and they're probably going to be very, very happy. Let me know what you think about that anyway. I just wanted to sort of bring that up as a quick discussion. Uh, all right, let's get on to the Canon because I wanted to sort of talk to you about this because uh, it's a pretty amazing looking Canon uh, camera, uh, 54. And this might be a, a sort of precursor to what the new Sony A9X or S would look like. Uh, let me bring this up. So this is the new camera that's being announced uh, this morning, I think it was announced. There is a new um, speed booster that you can get with it, I believe. Uh, it's it's not available yet, but you can get this. Uh, because remember, this is APS-C um, size uh, camera, but you can put this on and it basically becomes like a full frame sensor because it will read the full readout of the sensor and also gives you another stop of light. But the design, uh, let me show you first. I'll show you how big this is because as a size comparison because it's hard to show unless you see this. 
All right, so if we look at that, you can see the difference in size uh, that it is. So uh, this is the R5, this is the 7 this is the EOC. Now I have to say, this is probably about the size that I used to carry around when it was my D, uh, D4 camera. So it's, it's not ridiculous in file sizes, although it is quite a thick body and I'll show you that, you know, as we discuss through it. But remember, this is aimed more at a serious videographer that needs all of the tools that this can come with. Uh, and there's a reason why these bodies are much bigger. Uh, also probably for heat as well, but there's a, you know, you've got so many program programmable buttons and things like that as well. I don't think the size would worry me so much if I was a full on videographer. And in fact, sometimes having a larger camera is easier if you're hand holding this type of stuff because weight helps in, in holding a, a camera steady. Uh, but let me just get rid of that. So I just wanted to show you that as a size comparison. And let me sort of take you through uh, some of the features about this camera. Uh, I mean, I think it's a great release by Canon. I really do. Um, so it's the 4K EOS C70. Uh, and this is, it's a new EF, EF to RF speed booster. Uh, it says, which allows the users to take full, uh, full frame lenses on the A70 Super 35mm sensor. Um, let me just keep coming down and show you. So the body itself, like I said, is very sort of similar to the, the big Canons and the big Nikons. Um, they're saying in movie mode, it's got, well, let me just read this to you. It's saying that the sensor claims to offer a whopping 16 stops of dynamic range. That, I mean, that's incredible. Now, whether that's true or not, who knows? It might be just a figure that they're pulling out of their hat. But you know, if it's anything close to that, it sounds amazing. Uh, it's also saying in this in this mode, the camera can shoot 4K 60p or 2K 120. Um, so it's not 4K 120, which is interesting. Oh, there is down there, I think, um, with uh, Super 16 crop. Or you can deactivate the extended dynamic range. Oh, there you go. So if you uh, uh, deactivate the extended dynamic range, it will capture 4K 120 or 2K 180. That's pretty nuts. Um, other features include dual pixel autofocus, which we know now is basically on par with Sony. They're very, very close now in, in how these uh, work together. Yeah, I'm talking about in speed and eye autofocus and everything else. Um, it's got uh, Canon Log 2 and Canon Log 3, a gamma, two SD card slots that can record different codecs uh, and resolutions at the same time, two mini XLR inputs. That's great to have on a camera like that, to have two XLR inputs. I'll show you these inputs in a minute. A full-size HDMI output and a built-in ND filter. That's amazing. Uh, uh, that puts in two, four, six, eight, and 10 stops. Oh my God. Yeah, where's the clap? I've got to, I've got to give a clap. Where, where's the, uh, is there a clap? Yep. Oh, I just so wish the A7S III had had that. I mean, you can get that if you go up to the FX9 and stuff. Uh, I think the FX9, I'm pretty sure that has it, but that would be so wonderful to just dial in. I mean, even with, you know, oh, it's, it's, oh no, it's over there. Even with my ZV-1, I can use that, and it's so handy to be able to turn on that ND. But to have the ability to have two, four, six, and eight, ten uh, stops of uh, ND internal on the camera body would be amazing. Um, let's look at the body itself. You can see here where your two XLR inputs are. You've got a normal mic input there, but there's, there's stuff all over the place on this. Your headphone socket, you, this is where your ND is actually uh, controlled from. You've got plus or minus, so you can turn it up or down. Uh, you've got white balance. These would all be programmable too. I think that's, uh, that's probably exposure or something. You've got your display button, zebras, uh, peaking button, uh, I'm not sure what that is, wireless or something on there. I like it's so programmable. Uh, I'm not sure what that is at the top, whether that's a joystick. Um, really beautiful battery grip. Um, you can see that it's quite big at the back. Uh, it looks like you put your battery in at the back here. Uh, so it's not going internally in the camera. I think that's how it must work. It is a fold-out screen, though, uh, which would be no doubt beautiful. You've also got function keys on the back as well. Uh, there's also function keys here. You've got a joystick over here. Um, you have a DC in that you can program there, so you can plug it directly in. On the other side, uh, I know I showed those before. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's the other side. So you've also got a mounting option there as well. Time code uh, you can put in through the top. Uh, through the top here, you can see that you've just got your power switch, uh, your media dial and slot select. Um, bottom, I mean, there's not much. It doesn't even show you with a fold out flip screen, I don't think. But I mean, I I think I, I really like the design, even though it's it's very large. Boy, if I was a videographer, that thing would really tempt me. Uh, it, it looks like it's a really nice release. The FS6 is also going to come out, so that's also going to be interesting to see how that sort of competes to this. Uh, so we've got some interesting things coming out on the full sort of uh, videographer front, uh, which is quite exciting. Um, I'll come over to chat in a minute. We'll open that up. Uh, last one is the Tamron lens. Uh, one minute, one hour. So the Tamron lens is the last story uh, of the day. Let me just open this up. Um, this is going to be released soon. It's going to start shipping out October the 29th. Uh, it's a Tamron 70 to 300. Now it is a variable aperture, 4.5 to 6.3. Um, it's the DI3 RXD lens. I will get this lens. They've already said I'll get it. Um, so I'm just waiting on it to be uh, sent to me. As soon as it's available in Australia, I'll get a pre-release version that I'll be able to photograph for you guys. Um, not much more I can tell you about the, at this stage because, um, you know, I'm not allowed to. Um, but uh, it looks like it's going to be a really nice sort of uh, tr long travel type lens um, that is not going to be too expensive at all. Uh, so, you know, I'm dying to get this and, say, take down the coast and see if I can grab some surfers or things like that and stuff like that. So stay tuned for when the, the Tamron 70-300 to is released. Uh, I may get it any time now. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, that. So it's going to be really good to have a look at it. Uh, like I said, it is a variable, so it's a 4.5 to 6.3. It's going to have the same filter thread as all the other Tamron lenses, so your 67 mil, which is amazing. It's not going to have in internal stabilization, though. Um, but apart from that, I don't care about that. I'll just up the uh, shutter speed. So... Um, at least I don't think it's going to have internal stabilization. Does it mention it? No, it doesn't Doesn't mention it. I'll have to find that out. I don't know about that yet because, like I said, I haven't got it. Um, so I'll have to wait and see. But I wouldn't expect it to at that sort of price range. And looking at the image, it doesn't seem to have anything for switching anything on or off. Um, a 67 millimeter filter thread, which is also amazing as well. Um, just checking down here. No, there's no internal stabilization because it'd be mentioned through here. You just have to up your shutter speed. But like I said, if, if you don't want to spend too much money, this could be a great option. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, so let's open up to Q&A. What are we on now? Uh, one hour. Oh, three. Ten. Love it if you could give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, if you can, it does make a difference. We've only got two thumbs down. <laughs> haters will be haters, as they say. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, where were we? I think down here. All right, let's go from here. C70. I remember back in 1970s when almost all the cameras were two-tone. Yeah, they were. That's right. That's why I like that vintage sort of look. I do like that, actually. Uh, the the two-tone reminds me of classic film cameras. I agree. And if, if I was buying that camera, I'd definitely be buying the two-tone one, not the plain black one. And I bet you any money, the sales will show that. Uh, I guarantee that the two-color one will sell more. Um. What kind of camera would work best for you? Basically, describe your perfect dream camera. Well, I think. Look, if I was, if if I had to have the perfect camera, I still say for me at the moment th there isn't one. But the A nine still for me is the perfect portrait camera that I've ever used because it just gives me every single thing that I I, I want to do with it. It's got great video and it's got unbelievable stills and to have that ability to do the one thirty two thousandth of a second shutter speed uh, is game changing in the way that I shoot I love the 20 frames per second when I'm doing dance shoots the sensor is so ridiculously fast so 
probably the A9. If I could get, say, the mix of an A9 as it is and an A7S III as it is, would probably be the ultimate hybrid camera that I could ever dream of. So if you could give me something that had 4K 60, yes, 4K 120 might be useful, but really I'm more interested in having 4K 60 for when I'm doing weddings and things like that, and to be able to slow that down 50%. 4K 120 I might use occasionally, well, I might change my mind when I get the, when well, if I get the A7S III on Monday or Tuesday, but, but um, I might change my mind with the 4K 120 and I might use that more than I think. But I'll, I've always thought I would be happy with having 4K 160, uh, 4K uh, 60p. Uh, and if it had the same type sensor that's in the A9 that would give me the 20 frames per second and 24 megapixel I'm more than happy with. Uh, so that would probably be my dream camera, a mix of the A9 with the A7S III. But I do think the, A7, uh, the A7S III in stills is going to be a lot better than you guys, most people believe. And I've discussed that before because I used to shoot with 12 megapixel cameras all the time. And when I get that camera, I'm going to do a couple of shoots with it and use it as a stills camera. Um, thoughts on the C70 compared to the Komodo? Do you think that the quality and workflow of the Red Komodo justifies the uh, sacrificing features like the AF built-in ND? Well, I don't know enough about them, um, so I can't really talk about that because I'm not a videographer, so I'm, I'm just talking about it from a specs wise. Uh, all I'm talking about, I, I think the C70 looks like a really nice camera, but I can't compare it to that Red Komodo. Um, Brad said, has anyone seen or heard if Canon has said their focal adapter won't fit the R5 or R6? I bet it won't. I bet there'll be something stopping that, Brad. Um, Fuji's been making those kind of cameras, uh, the bigger ones you're talking about, Ike. Uh, when does the A7S III ship? It's shipping now. Um, I've had a few Panasonic and Fuji film with silver tops. Yep. They do all, like I said, that classic look always has that, and I think it's really nice. Uh, Mark said, I'd say the C70 will not overheat. That's why the R5-6 uh, should have looked like. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, I don't think that will because it's a full-on videographer's camera, so I doubt that will overheat. Um, but the, you know what? They seem to have solved that uh, overheating problem, uh, Mark. With the latest firmware updates, we haven't been hearing anywhere near the same overheating problems that they've had early on. So I think those overheating problems have mostly been solved. It doesn't seem to be the big deal that it was. Um, Jim said, I remember all two-tone bodies in the shops in Hong Kong in the 60s and 70s. Go in and get a free beer drink until you pay the asking price on a Pentex Minolta. Um, Carl, uh, Carl said, Canon needs a video-specific camera with the new RF mount. Um, Venom said, uh, oh, have old Olympus... Oh, yeah, the old Olympus have two tones as well. Uh, they are, they're beautiful. I love all the old cameras. They are, they're beautiful. Brad said, uh, what do you think uh, of only dealers getting hands on the C70 for preview vids? I haven't seen a single user with a hands on the C70 yet. It makes me feel like that where's the beef? Yeah, it is interesting, Brad, but perhaps they're just in such short supply at the moment uh, that they're just not out there. Um, you know, that, when are they talking about... Uh, that being released, I can't remember. Uh, when did they say? It's available for pre-order though, so um, can't be far off. Well, it's saying they're scheduled to ship. Uh, they're scheduled to ship in November, so they can't be that far out. So I think you'll start to see reviews of that uh, fairly soon. Um, Michael said, spell correct. Oh, he's talking about someone else, I think. Uh, Mark said, seems the inbuilt ND inside the C70 is stepped, unlike the Sony video cameras with built-in ND. I'm not sure. We'd have to see how that works, uh, Mark. I'd be surprised if it's stepped, though. I would be surprised in that type of camera if it's stepped. I think it'll just be electronic and it'll be smooth. Um, guy with the camera said, um, yeah, it, even stepped is nice. I agree. Uh, Hero said that camera thick. Uh, yeah, Venom said it, that's a gorgeous camera. I I really love it. Look, like I said, I think that camera is beautiful for a um, a big design camera like it is. I think Canon have done an excellent job ergonomically. It's brilliant. It looks brilliant. Uh, 
I really do think they've nailed uh, the design of the camera. I think it looks really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, S one and H competitor, so massive, um, perfect for a gimbal. <laughs> Aaron said, Basil said, people are so weight and size sensitive. I have to imagine this camera will kill people if they try to pick it up. Uh, a fluid, um, a camera with a fluid like ND is a game changer. I think it probably will be fluid, Mark, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Sony A7C with lens, $3,700 in Australia. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The price, the price is crazy over here. You can get an A7 III for cheaper. I don't know why, but yeah, it's not cheap at all. Um, Brad said, uh, my chat with you got a little goofed. Yes, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the new FS6. Oh, okay. Um, might be uh, my new lust for camera. I think the FX6 is going to be great camera. Um, Carl said you ruined my, the surprise. Um, hi, David from Plantation, Florida. Hi, how are you? 12 megapixel for still laugh my ass off after y'all was just talking about the A9X. Yeah, like I said, though, I'm not interested in high resolution cameras, really, though. I, I mean, I'd, I'd, if I had one, I'd use one. Uh, but I'd be quite comfortable with a 12 megapixel or a 24 megapixel camera. Uh, I've shot with one for years. Wouldn't bother me. Um, what else? Here I said, yeah, I haven't had an overheat warning uh, ever on the... Yeah, that and that's true, Hero. That's what I'm saying. I've heard the new updates have been amazing with the R6 and the R, uh, R5. It seems like they've fixed the overheating now. Uh, Brad said, oh, I feel stupid now. Why would you want a focal adapter on a full-frame sensor? But it'd be nice for EOS R shooters with a crop mode. Dale said, any thoughts on what lenses we would like Sigma to launch on September the 30th? No, it'll be interesting, won't it? I haven't really thought about it that much. Let me know in the chat down below what you'd be interested in Sigma releasing. Um, there was a um, a uh, macro that they were talking about. I'm not sure if it's for full frame, though. It was a 105 macro that they were talking about releasing. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. 85 1.2 would be pretty cool. Or really wide angle uh, would be nice as well. Um, I'm back. The A7S III <laughs> battery is charging now. Uh, now I have to wait on the HDMI cable so I can incorporate my Ninja for 12 bit. Yeah, I've got the HDMI cable already. Um, what cards are you using, uh, Shadow? Have you got the, um, it's going to be interesting to see if you've got the CF Express A as well. Uh, Photo Maniac says, Sony shooters, we want high resolution A9, but 12 megapixel on the A7S III can get the job done. Uh, yeah, but I'm not, that's not me, Ike. I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I don't need that. That would be for another reason. The people that would be after those high megapixel cameras would be the people that love the A7R4, and there's lots of those out there. Uh, a lot of people do love high megapixel sensors, particularly uh, people that shoot la uh, yeah, wildlife, uh, things like that. Uh, would love a high resolution camera. Um, 35 short of 100 thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys. Let's see if we can get there. That would be amazing. Um, we need more sharp lenses from all camera companies that are affordable, cheap. Well, uh, you know what? I, I think in a way we are now getting amazing sharp lenses from, well, look, Sigma give amazing sharp lenses now for a lot cheaper than you would pay, say, for Sony. Tamron are giving incredible uh, lenses as well for sharpness, like the 28 to 75 and those lenses are amazingly sharp. So I do think we get lots of sharp lenses that are affordable. Uh, so I think there's plenty out there and we'll get a lot more uh, soon as well. Um, Brad said, laugh out loud, I just remembered that CVP vid um, highlighted the C70 one-third 20 thread on the grip for vertical video productions. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's funny, we all want 8K video cameras and don't remember we all need a solid computer to edit those. Yeah, I've got nothing that could edit that. So I'm not really interested at all in shooting 8K for the next probably two or three years. Uh, 4K 60 or 4K 120 will be ample for me. Um, at this stage. But if it's there, it's there, which is great. Um, there has to be a cripple hammer somewhere, Mark said. I wouldn't think in that sort of camera, Mark, though. Um, I gave 8K a thumbs down. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, 
Brett said, Sigma released a full-frame camera claiming it's the world's smallest full-frame. Um, Aaron said, even zooms now are sharp. They are. The, the, the new zoom lenses are incredibly sharp. Uh, C70 versus the FS6. I'd have to see what the FS6 has when it's uh, fully announced. It still uh, it's, hasn't been fully announced yet, has it? I don't think. Let me just Google it and see. Um I'm just curious to see if it's coming up. Oh, okay. Yes, it looks like it's going to be this sort of style. Let me just bring this up. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be sort of like a baby FX9. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I think they both look... They're both terrific. I, I'd sort of have to look at both of them and compare them to make a judgment on that. I mean, obviously for me, I'd be buying that. I'd buy the FS6 because I've got Sony lenses. I mean, that would make total sense to me. If you're in the Canon realm, well, then obviously you would go more for the C70. I, I think they're probably both going to be both amazing cameras. Uh, I'd have to look at the specs and everything more. What's it saying the specs are on the FX6? Um... 4K, um, 10-bit 4.2, oh no, it's 4K 4.2.0, it's, oh no, that's the FX5, yeah, it's not saying, um, it's not really coming out because it, they're still guessing about it, I have to wait until it's released and then I, I can make a judgement, but I would think if you're in the Sony realm, uh, you probably, definitely would get the FX6, uh, if you're in Canon, well, you can't go wrong, that, that, that camera looks amazing, um, I'm not going. I'm not going with the card for the F uh, A7S III. I'm using the cam exclusive for video with the Ninja. Oh, okay. Um, oh, he means sharp, affordable lenses for APS-C. Well, I, I can tell you, my favourite APS-C lens is the Sigma 16 mm That's what I'm using now. I adore that. Sigma also make great. I think there's what is there a 55? I can't remember, but there's a a 30 mil or something, or close to a 30, and also a 50 odd. Um, lens as well i think but they're all sharp the sigma sigma prime lenses for aps-c are super sharp super sharp um, jim said i think 8k viewers will exhibit attention deficit disorder after about 20 hours of viewing footage um sigma trio aps-c lenses they are the tree i can't remember what focal length were they uh, aaron i can't remember what they are uh, 30 mil is one but the sigma 16 is super sharp um, if you saw Sigma zoom lenses with a 1.8 or full frame cameras would be a dream. F Sigma 56, yep, yeah, that's that's a beautiful lens. Uh, the 56 1.4 is a great lens. And then we've come to the end of the show. So thanks, everyone. Thanks so much for popping in. Um, stay tuned for next week because I probably will discuss when something comes on Monday or Tuesday. Um, it'll be nice to see what's going on. I hope those... CF Express A cards don't cause me grief, but at least I can shoot 4K 160 with them. Uh, 4K 60, I mean. Uh, it may be that I can't do 4K 120, but I'll, I'll have to see. Perhaps because they're Australian cards, they're going to work. <laughs> if not, I'll have to um, send them back, I suppose. Let me know, Michael, if you're still here too or you're looking at this later. Let me know what Sony uh, tell you to do about those cards because that will be interesting to share as well. Um what Brad has just said too, uh, what's he just saying here? Uh, remember though that the C70 has no raw options, only 4 to 2 10-bit max for quality. I also think it has C-Log 2. No, they're saying it's going to have uh, C-Log 3. Um, I did read that, that it was going to have C-Log 3. Was it mentioned on that thing? I, I'm sure I read it somewhere it was going to have that. Uh, where did I read it? I know I read it somewhere. I see it was saying down here it's going to have Canon Log 3. It's not mentioning RAW support, though, so that's interesting as well. Oh, thank you so much, Brad. Uh, thank you for the uh, live donation. Uh, I'll just show that. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. I also said it would be nice to have a 2470 2.8 equivalent for APS-C, how like Tamron and Sigma did for full frame. Yeah, that would be nice as well. If you could get a nice 2.8, uh, that would be great uh, as well. 
thanks so much, Brad, for the donation. Uh, I want to see the beard be a full foot long by Xmas. I'm keeping it this side, Brett. <laughs> I like trimming it. I like the way it is here. I don't think I'm going to be going for the big Father Christmas beard. I can't take it off um, <laughs> the Father Christmas. You know who I'm talking about. Um, all right, guys. Thanks so much for today. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, if you haven't seen Kiara's video, please give it a like. I'd love it if you could uh, give it a like and, and let me know what you think about that video. Uh, shot with the A9 and the A92. It's the video before this one. Uh, apart from that, guys, leave all your questions down below. I will be back with Aaron next week um, on our usual day, which is Tuesday in the US, Wednesday here. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and apart from that, guys... We'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.